Today we're going to show you how to properly install a Spyro mailbox system. So we have a hole here that is 24 inches deep, which you can use by the tape measure, or you can also use by looking for the marking on the post itself. It shows you the depth that the post needs to be relative to the road surface. This is important as this will dictate that the mailbox is at the correct height to meet U.S. postal regulations. So once the hole is dug, we recommend using this Pika post mix. It's an expandable foam that you just mix together and then you pour in and it surrounds it instead of concrete. It's much easier to use, lighter weight, and it works extremely well. You don't want to use cement in the northern climates. Frost line will cause the post to rise in the winter. Now notice I haven't tramped anything down yet because I want to make sure the post is level first. Level in two dimensions, this way and then also in this direction. Give it another check to make sure you're right on the money. The next part of this is to actually hang the mailbox on the post. For that you're going to need the two fasteners. All the fasteners, by the way, come with the mailbox system. And we have these two special fasteners that we're going to attach to the back of the mailbox. The mailbox is mounted, these holes at the top and this hole at the bottom. The nut side is facing the street, so the front of the mailbox. So you put it in like this. That's it, you put your two nuts on. Quite simply, on the post you see two keyhole slots, we call those. You just insert these in the slots, not the, the nuts on the inside. Now you'll need a 9 16 inch wrench, or in this case I'm using a socket, either works fine, and, and you just tighten this down. And the other bolt inside here, do the same thing too, and that's it, your mailbox is hung. Cap just presses right down in, once you have the cap pressed in here, you have a little plastic fastener, you just press it in the hole in the back, and you're done, and your mailbox is hung. Alright, so the next mailbox, we're going to take this off and we're going to show you how to install Spira SP005, and in this case, with this mailbox, it requires a bracket. So we have the bracket. We're going to install the bolts in the bracket this time. And we install the bracket in the same slots as before. Slide it in, tighten it down. Just like we did in this case, I'll just show you the use of a wrench. You do the same exact thing. If you're going to use an address plate, which looks like this, you need to install the address plate before you install the mailbox. Put it in the hole. And go with the retaining nut inside. Okay. So once that's in, you just take the screwdriver, hand tighten it, like I just did. So once both screws are in, your address plate is installed. The mailbox is very easy to install also. Four fasteners that come with the bracket and it comes with an Allen head wrench. Make it easy inside the mailbox. So you just put the screw with a washer through the hole if you line them up. Hand tighten it just like the other one. And you would repeat this for the all four locations. Here you go, is your finished Spira mailbox installation for the bracket, post, and address.